嘿嘿，大家好，我是 Sandra。Oh boy! I've heard from many people who have visited Sweden that our food is not that good, because we only eat meatballs, sushtraming, and stale stews. I definitely do not agree with this, so I want to show you what I eat for a week, so you'll know what a real Swede eats for dinner. Before we move on to the video, please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. And let's move on to my dinners. Starting off strong on Monday, my dad really, really wanted to eat some dry aged meat. We ate outside so he could barbecue the meat. In my family, we prefer the meat to be dry aged 30 days. It's tried and tested. All this summer, we've tried different dates and different lengths of dry aging, but 30 days is the perfect ideal for dry aging, and the meat always turns out the best when we do it 30 days. For dinner, we had some dry aged meat, some buttered potato, some green salad, and some pepper. As you can see, this food doesn't really look like Swedish traditional food, which it isn't because most Swedes we don't actually eat uh, meatballs every Monday, macaronis every Tuesday, and. Uh, Pea stews on Thursday. That's not true. Most people I know, we eat very varied cuisine from many different countries because having husmans every single day is not that fun and it's way more interesting to vary food every single day. Uh, on Tuesday, my mom, my sister and I, we were really craving Wilfrit, so we went to Vestra Station right opposite Malmö Live to have some dinner. And as a starter, we chose to have some oysters. They have been my favorite basically all my life. I've always loved the oysters on New Year's Eve when we have the uh, onion sauce right over top of them. And that's the way that they're served at Vesta Stahum. So we got a plate of oysters uh, as our starters. And all of us ordered Mulfrit because that's why we were going there. And they're always so, so, so yummy. And when going here, don't be disappointed if the, you think that the portions are too small. Because you can ask for a refill and they're free. So all refills are free for the Mulfrit. So you just have to ask them, oh, uh, by the way, I need a refill. And then they'll happily give you a refill. To me, it was even too much food to get uh, one refill. But that's just because I'm small. I eat little portions. But I really wanted to have some more uh, muscles. So of course, I had to get a refill. Uh, and then to cap off our dinner, we went to the Sky Bar, because why not? We were already there, so we went there, had a few drinks before we went home. On Wednesday, my mom cooked some lu rou fan uh, with some uh, dogan and some lu bai tai. Uh, that's some traditional Taiwanese street food. I always love it when my mom cooks it, but she usually only cooks it whenever she feels like it. But it's always much appreciated because I especially love the eggs. And just in general, I love the Taiwanese food, especially beef noodles, which hopefully I'll see a lot more of now that we're coming into winter. On Thursday, my dad was feeling a bit spontaneous, so he bought a gyros grill, which is like the, you could say the Greek kebab, 
but I think that they use a different meat or a bit pork. I'm not sure. But we had some gyros. Of course, he wanted to try his new gyros grill, so we had some gyros with some green salad and some bread for dinner. It tasted really amazing, and I really loved getting some heat from the grill since it was getting quite cold outside. I'd say that's not too shabby for a regular Thursday. And then on Friday, we capped off our week uh, at Escama, which is a tapas place. I really, really love tapas. And we mostly went there to celebrate my sister, but for me, the priority was, of course, the tapas. My favorite was probably the grilled squid and the fried potato balls. you've seen what I ate for a week, do you still think that the food we have in Sweden is bad? Which one of these dinners would you like to eat yourself? Uh, and I think that I'll keep on sharing my food journey with you because I really really love food. It's a big part of my life and it's a big part of my family's life. That's all I had for you today. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. Please like and always comment if you have any suggestions for future videos. Hey Doa, and I'll see you in the next one.